Hey everyone, Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. We're going to do something a little different this morning. Uh, the Link's Awakening, you're seeing it right now, the official Link's Awakening page on the, the official Zelda website, Zelda.com, has been updated uh, to represent Link's Awakening coming out for Switch, which comes out later this month. And uh, I'm a big Zelda guy, so I figured we would explore the website. Now, in the past, uh, these official websites don't get updated very often. Sometimes the information is inaccurate. But uh, I needed to honestly take a look at this and uh, see if there's anything we new we can learn. And we're just going to kind of explore it together. Uh, my first time looking at the website, there'll be a link to it, not only in the description as well, if you'd rather just go look at it yourself. Uh, warning, there might be spoilers. Uh, I go, although it's like a 20-plus year old game, so, I mean, I don't know what you're worried about at this point. But uh, if it's a brand new experience for you, could be some spoilers on here. So let's go. So it says, Relive the Classic Story on September 20th, 2019. As I said, comes out this month. Uh, it says to scroll down here, this little arrow. Neat little visual effect. Uh, what does it have here? Explore a reimagined Kolohint Island in one of the most beloved games in the Legend of Zelda series. Link is washed up ashore. All that great stuff. Embark on an exciting and adorable. See, Nintendo's even telling you, hey, this is adorable. Uh, this is the trailer. The launch trailer, or the trailer we saw before. Doesn't look like there's anything new there. That looks like all the same stuff we've seen in the past. All right, scroll down. Cola Hint Island. All right. Ooh, look at that. Look how big the, the house looks on. All right, so let's take a tour. Let's take a tour of Cola Hint Island. Let's see, what this, let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. They have the game in the background. That's really neat. Just letting that play for a moment. Look at all that. Man, this game looks good. Uh, no one wants to be shipwrecked, uh, but there are worse places to be stranded than the beautiful Colohan Island. Explore this tropical paradise, meet in this colorful inhabitants, collect valuable treasures, and watch out for monsters. <laughs> awesome. All right. Cool. Oh, look at that piece of official. I, I like that official art. Points of interest. Here we go. Awesome. So they give you a map. So here's like the overall map. Um, it looks pretty neat. I got to say, it looks pretty neat. And they got these little points here. So let's, let's check out Maid Village. A charming little town full of friendly people and several cute shops. Cute. Do you believe Nintendo's using the word cute shops to describe something in the Legend of Zelda series? Uh, mysterious forest. It's a dark woods home to many dangerous foes. And one naughty raccoon. All right. Uh, Gapanga. Gapango? I always, I always messed up pronouncing that. It. It's a swamp area. It's dangerous to go alone. So be sure to take a friend. They had to get that reference in. Cemetery. Let's see here. If you're looking for a spooky adventure, this is the place for you. Watch out for ghosts and maybe some secrets. There are actually some secrets in the cemetery. Uh, Connellet Castle. Uh, the royal setting was once the home of Prince Richard. Prince Richard. Uh, before he was kicked out by his rebellious servants. Animal Village. Have you ever wished you could talk to animals? Take a trip to this cozy town and make your dreams come true. Oh, it's a really cool place in this game. Uh, Mount Tamarack. Tamaranch? I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced either. Of course, no trip to Colon Island is complete without visiting the famous Mount Tamaranch, home of the fabulous Windfish's Egg. All right, things to do. While you're sharing a Coal Hint Island, you might as well make the most of it. You could join the locals in a variety of fun activities like fishing, trading, and even a wild river ride. That's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, the fishing area. I got, to, I got to actually try this out in the demo at E3. Uh, it works great. I, I really like it. I can't wait to uh, try to catch the big one. Uh, the trading quest. Oh, this, this quest is awesome. Oh, and I love how they got the video playing. Uh, you can find all sorts of people and animals that are looking for certain something. If you trade enough times, you might even find something nice for yourself. Yes, there it's, there's a really long uh, trade quest line in the game. It's really cool. Ride the river. Now, we've seen this in other Zelda games. Although, you'll notice, what's Link doing? He's jumping. That's right. Link's Awakening was the very first game you could jump in. Uh, it was through an item, Rock's Feather. Uh, so we'll see how it handles in this game if they if they just have a jump button or if they uh, put Rock's Feather in the game like it originally was. But uh, that's pretty cool. Um, this is oh, the claw game. I get to play the City 3. It's just as difficult as it was back in the day. Um, obviously, there's hard pieces, the Yoshi doll, some other cool stuff, some rupees back there. Um, all right, warping around. Tired of walking everywhere? Uncover handy warp points to zip around Kolohan Island. This is new to the game. Uh, they didn't have warp points back then, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, meet the colorful cast. I guess let's continue on, shall we? To meeting the colorful cast. Uh, everyone knows Link, obviously. There's Link. Oh, look, he's so cute. I know I wasn't a fan of his eyes, and I'm still not so sure, but, I mean, it works with that art style, so I guess I'm okay with it. Uh, Marin, she's the female who uh, picks you up on the beach at the very beginning of the game. Uh, Turin, 
tends to get in a lot of trouble, and it's usually Link who has to bail him out. He is a trouble linker, that's for sure. Uh, Owl. I love how they just call him Owl. Later, you know, obviously, you know, Kapora Gabor and all this stuff in the future. But in this game, he's just called Owl. Uh, he's the the advice master. Old man, Yorira. <laughs> the shy old gentleman is happy to share advice. He's an advice giver. Dampe! Dampe is back, everyone. Uh, a frightful looking but friendly fellow. His job is to dig up interesting stuff on the island. Dampe's first appearance. It was his first appearance ever in the Zelda series. All right. Uh, ferocious foes. Ooh, what do we got? Moblin. There's the Moblin, fought a bunch of these in the demo. Uh, next up we got, what are these called? Zeros. Look at them. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Uh, we got Octoroks, of course, fought some of those in the demo. This is actually from the demo area. Uh, let's see here. Zoras. Uh, I don't know if I saw a Zora in the demo area. Maybe there was one. There might have been one. Uh, Stalfos. This was in the dungeon that you got to play. Uh, and Goombas, that's right. They put a big question mark. Yes, there are Mario enemies in this game. Even Chain Chomp is in as a dog. Yes, Chain Chomp is a dog in this game. <laughs> Pretty crazy stuff. Uh, big bad bosses, who are they showing off? They got the Moblin Chief. Oh, look at them! Look at them! Oh! <laughs> yes. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, what do we got here? Armos Knight. Yeah, okay, yeah. So there's been bosses like this in Zelda before, of course. Uh, we got uh, the Spike Roller. Uh, we saw this actually in one of the trailers, uh, the Spike Roller. All right. Uh, nightmares. So uh, if you manage to make it past the rest of the bad guys in Undone, so these are like the mini bosses, basically. They're calling them big bad bosses. These are the mini bosses. These are the real bosses, um, the, the big ones at the end. So you have uh, Moldorm, of course, classic, classic Zelda boss. Um, Genie. I really like Genie. Genie is one of the more unique bosses. I, I, I really like him in this game. Uh, and then Slime Eye. Don't forget about Slime Eye. <laughs> oh, man. That, that, that's, a, that's a very fun fight. I'm glad it doesn't, it doesn't show you how the rest of the fight goes because it's a really fun one. All right, so let's get the scoop on gameplay and basics. All right, that's what's next on the site. Let's see here. I'm really, I'm really loving this site. Even though this, like, none of this is new for me. Oh, Dark Link. Dark Link. What do we got here? To escape Coal and Island, Link will need to use every ounce. Fight like a boss. Link will face off many, uh, and you need to master some basic moves. Yep. Yeah, you learn some stuff. The horizontal slash, the whirling blade, aka, I think, spin attack. Yeah, aka the spin attack. Blocking with your shield. Jump attack. Ooh. Uh, handy items. In the original Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, game players had to shuffle between two buttons on the Game Boy system. Uh, yeah, things are going to be easier this time around. Um, so always equipped are your sword and shield now, uh, the power bracelet and the Pegasus boots. Uh, Pegasus boots are used with L, shield with R, um, power bracelet. You just, you know, when you get in the game, you're just able to pick up big objects. Uh, but now you can equip all this to, to X or Y. So we have rocks, feather. So confirmed rocks, feather. That's the jump, um, bombs, the bow, the bow and arrow hook shot, the shovel, the ocarina. Yes, folks. Ocarina of Time is not the origins of ocarinas in uh, in the game. And I know I said ocarina, but yeah, it's not the the origin. Uh, <laughs> uh, magic Powder. You actually use this very early in the game. Uh, magic Rod. And of course, a Fairy Bottle. Um, seize Control. So the basics have been upgraded from the original. Okay, so let's see. What did they do? L for Dash. We talked about that before. Minus for the map. Uh, move with the left stick. Sub screen is, is controlled with the, the D-pad or the arrow keys. Uh, R for shield, X item, Y item, B attack. Um, a is to confirm and lift. Okay. So pretty pretty much what you would expect for a Zelda game. Uh, the map, another big upgrade from the original game, is a new map system which lets you place pins. Okay, so you, just like in Breath of the Wild. Okay, so you can kind of place, yeah. That looks like it's straight ripped out of Breath of the Wild. Is that even like the same symbols? I'm pretty sure that's a straight rip out of Breath of the Wild. But yeah, you can pin the map now. It's pretty cool. And now you have, yeah, that, even that full map looks a lot nicer. Uh, chamber Dungeons. So this is this is cool. This is the uh, build your own like dungeon maker. This is this is really cool. This is new. All new to this game. This never existed before um, in a Zelda game. Be sure to check out the all new Chamber Dungeon where you can place chambers earned on your adventure. So you unlock these chambers as you play the game um, to build your own dungeon and then add plus effects to other 
chambers. Um, let me see. Uh, Amiibo. Amiibo functionality. So this is kind of new too. Uh, bring the adorable Link of uh, figures sold separately with you on your adventures and use them to unlock Shadow Link. You can unlock Shadow Link. Now, it's not telling you which Amiibo. I assume it's going to be the Link's Awakening Amiibo. But uh, it doesn't say which Amiibo it is specifically. But you can unlock Shadow Link. Hell yes. Shadow Link, for those of you who don't know, made its first appearance back in Zelda 2. Uh, kind of reappeared as Dark Link and um, Ocarina of Time and all that stuff. Uh, one of the most uh, famous uh, alternate personalities of Link. Maybe the only one. So, uh, hell yeah. I'm so glad we can do that. Uh, also, you can top up five different Amiibo from the Legend of Zelda series. It must be these five um, in random order. So it unlocks these five chambers. So chambers. So it unlocks five stages, basically, to use in the Dungeon Maker. Uh, the Great Fairy Chamber, the Moblin Chief's Chambers, the Ball and Chain Trooper's Chamber, Cracked Floor Chamber, and the Armel's Night Chamber. So right off the bat, if you already have those Amiibo, and I have all five of those Amiibo, um, you can unlock uh, different chambers for the Dungeon Maker. That is really cool. Oh, and then purchase the game now. Um, and then they show you Digital Edition. Man, Canadians. Oh, I know, that's just the price of games over there. Uh, digital Edition, 59 bucks. Uh, Pre-purchase now. You can you can use your game vouchers on this, by the way. Save 10 bucks on the game. Um, or you can obviously go buy a retail copy as well. And you know what? If you're interested in Link's Awakening, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down in the description uh, if you would like to pre-order. Uh, maybe if there's Amiibos in stock, maybe I'll put that down there as well. Uh, and definitely Link's Awakening. Um, no special editions as far as we're aware. Uh, so, yeah, that that's basically the gist of um, the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening uh, site update. It's just a giant advertisement for the game which is what these site updates always are. But uh, I, I just think it's really neat uh, that Nintendo puts in the effort to do this, um, obviously with some animations and all this. I just think it's a, it's neat to see Nintendo actually put effort into their official websites time to time. Now, Zelda.com is usually always a mess. I haven't actually been to it in a while. Let's just take a, a quick peek at Zelda.com. It's been, it's been forever. Yeah, I mean, they always have the neat animations. Um, yeah, it's still rocking the old Breath of the Wild. Uh, stuff they have links to wiki the evening trailer and yeah i mean it's it, it's pretty basic <laughs> but hey gets the job done like you notice how like they don't even have like a listing of all the games <laughs> uh anyways uh, i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in i am Nathaniel robot from nintendo prime if you liked uh deep dives like this into updates to official websites let me know maybe i can do some more of these in the future not just for zelda which i obviously did because i have a high interest in zelda uh but you know for other games as well you know we could have maybe do deep dove you know before astral chain came out into the astral chain website and stuff like that so let me know uh if you enjoyed this kind of video otherwise uh, i hope you guys tune in later today uh we do have a live stream happening today at noon central standard time it'll be a 90 minute live stream it's going to be all about the news and a q a uh so it's going to be like a, a, a kind of a daily monday through friday news um conversation based live stream that'll stay live after the fact so if you don't get to it live that is okay uh you can obviously super chat and all that stuff to get your uh, questions answered and all that jazz uh and then we will also be having guess what's coming back prime news by popular demand uh we were having a prime news episode coming out later today it'll be coming out monday through friday uh obviously this monday everything was kind of skipped because it was labor day and i took that as a day off myself and just spent time with my family but uh we're rocking today on tuesday september what is it second third third september third so uh thank you guys so much for tuning in uh i can't wait to see you in the stream later and obviously see you on a new episode of prime news i'll catch you guys in the next video